Hi there. Now for this question, we're given three particles, P, Q and R, which lie at rest in a straight line on a smooth horizontal table with Q between P and R. And the particles P, Q and R have masses of 2m, 3m and 4m respectively. And particle P is projected towards Q with a speed of U and collides directly with it. The coefficient of restitution between each pair of particles is E. And we have to show that the speed of Q immediately after the collision with P is 2 fifths of 1 plus E times U. And this is for 6 marks. So, as usual, if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, I'll run through the work solution. Okay, let's see how you got on if you had a go. So, first of all, need to draw a sketch. And uh, I've already started this one here, where I've got the three particles, P, Q and R, of masses 2M, 3M and 4M respectively. And before motion started, P was moving towards Q with a speed of U. And Q and R were at rest. Now, we've got to think about what the velocities of P and Q are going to be after the impact. So we're going to mark those on as final velocities. So we'll have that as a V. And I'll have this one as VP and this one VQ. Now to get VP and VQ, I'm going to need to think about using the conservation of linear momentum and also looking at Newton's law of impact, creating simultaneous equations which I should be able to then go on and solve for VQ. Okay, so let's start then by putting down uh, the conservation of linear momentum. So we'll just abbreviate this to by the conservation of linear okay momentum and we need a positive sense I'm going to take positive to the right and that means that the momentum before impact equals the momentum after impact momentum of P before impact is going to be the mass 2m times its velocity which is u there's no momentum for Q because it's stationary. And then this is going to be equal to the momentum after impact. So it's going to be the momentum of P, which is the mass 2m times Vp. And to this we add the momentum of Q, which will be its mass 3m times its velocity, which is Vq. OK, so uh, what I could do now is we could divide through by m anyway because it's in every term. And I'm going to just clean this up now. It's just going to be 2u then equals 2vp plus 3 times vq. Now this is going to be one equation. We need another one. And we get the other one then by considering Newton's law of impact. So we'll just put a title up here by Newton's okay, law of impact. And I hope you're familiar with that. Remember, you can always check out tutorials on this. The coefficient of restitution, which in this example is E, is equal to the relative speed of separation divided by the relative speed of approach. Well, the relative speed of separation has got to be VQ minus VP. This has got to be going at a greater speed than VP after the impact. So it's got to then be VQ minus VP. And this is divided then by the relative speed of approach. Well, P is approaching Q, which is stationary, with a speed of U. OK, so we'll just divide that by U. And if I now multiply both sides by U, we therefore have EU equals VQ minus VP. And 
we want to find the speed of q so i'm going to make vp the subject okay so therefore vp would be equal to vq minus eu so i'll number that equation two and what i'm going to do now is substitute equation two sub two into equation one okay and doing that we therefore have 2u equals 2 times vp vp now is vq minus eu and then we've got plus 3vq and if i expand the bracket we're going to get 2vq minus 2eu plus 3vq and if we just come down here now if i just add 2vq to 3vq we've got 5vq and if i add 2eu to both sides this is going to equal 2u plus 2eu and i can pull out a factor of 2u so we've got 5vq equals 2 bracket 1 plus e and we'll put the u on that side and you can see that if i divide now by 5 i end up with vq equaling 2 fifths then of 1 plus e times u okay